Hey, welcome to Paleo in a Box. I'm Justin Lord, author of Paleo in a Box. And what I want to talk to you about today is the fact that there are so many athletes and quad athletes who are still interested in running endurance events or taking part in some really cool endurance events that they may have done in the past, but now they're WOD athletes, they still want to continue doing. Now, I get a lot of questions all the time about how do I stay paleo and be able to do these events at the same time? Well, interestingly, I have an uh, owner of CrossFit 1664, Tom Wiles, who is just that person. He is a kind of well-known endurance athlete, undertaken Ironmans and all those sorts of things and done extremely well at them. Now obviously as a keen uh, CrossFit athlete, what he wanted to do was go back and test himself again with probably the toughest foot race on earth and that is the Marathon de Sable. Crazy as far as I'm concerned, but not so as far as he's concerned. Um, so, the Marathon de Sub, if you don't know, is the toughest foot race on earth. Um, you have to be completely self-sufficient for six days. And how long is the distance? It's uh, about 152 miles in total over six days. And you don't have to carry your water. And I understand that you get given a tent or a place in a tent um, uh, for overnight. Uh, but like I said, you've got to be completely self-sufficient. And over that distance, that is a lot of kit that you've got to be carrying with you. Now, obviously the question I get is, you know, how can I stay paleo? You know, it's bound to be a lot of weight, you know, if I'm carrying turkey drumsticks and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be like that. Now, Tom's going to show us actually what he's done in the past and what he traditionally does with regards to his nutrition for uh, the previous events that he's done. Yeah, okay, so um, as you can see, a normal, uh, long or multi-stage event, we'd have something similar to the line out here. You normally have a minimum amount of carbohydrates, and for this event, it's uh, 2,000 calories we need a day. Uh, and I normally start off with a dehydrated breakfast, so I just add water to that. I would normally have a cup of bars, some gels to keep me through the day. Uh, this is sort of running, I can eat them on the move. Uh, even in time when we're stopped, I'll have a dehydrated dinner, and then I'll have some sort of recovery shake, either straight after I finish or just before I go to bed. So that's what I, t I tend to have, and again, that's, that's 2,000 calories. Uh, Justin has um, helped me go into paleo, uh, and he has, designed, he has designed this for me. So, interestingly, um, most of this stuff is obviously uh, carbohydrates. All of this stuff. Okay, now, um, I, t I picked up one of these uh, earlier, I think it was this one, and it recommends that you have three to four of these every 60 minutes. Now that is a lot of fast acting carbohydrates. And obviously it's not in combination with all of the vitamins and minerals that you need to be able to sustain your, or prevent the breakdown of your body. And obviously also is very low in protein and low in fat. Okay, now with Tom, what we've done is his metabolic um, testing. Now I'm gonna show you this. now. Tom is predominantly in zone one up to 161 uh, beats per minute. He is predominantly burning fat. Now take a look down here. What we've got is every minute his total calories output is 11.7 calories per minute. Now when we take a look down, 10.4 of those calories is fat. Now that's really, really interesting. So what we're saying is really, if Tom is a huge fat burner, looking at 90, 95% of that, okay? If Tom is predominantly a fat burner, then we need to make sure that he is uh, predominantly taking on board some good fats, okay? So what have we done for you then, Tom, with regards to the, the types of foods that you're having now? Um, basically, they gave me, uh, Justin made me up a paleo breakfast here. I've got 100 grams. I've got, in here I've got um, crushed almonds, I've got flaked almonds, I've got sesame, sesame seeds, um, sunflower seeds, raisins, dates, and some other little bits and pieces to pop that up. That's my breakfast. Um, whilst I'm running, so during the day, so I can just eat something as I go, just got your standard trail mix here. Okay, so nuts, again, nuts and some dry fruit. Here we made our own um, paleo bars. I've, I've turned them into balls and wrapped them in clean film so I can eat them on the go. Inside here we've got um, 
coconut, we've got some cocoa powder, uh, and again we've got some split almonds and everything all mashed up, some go goji berries all mashed up in there, and I uh, cooled them off overnight, wrapped them in this clean film, so I quickly popped them in my mouth as I go along. And we again, made sure that we got some coconut oil in there as well. Yes, yeah, so we've got our fats in there. Here we've just got some um, dates, just so I can have them as I go along. Um, so basically that, that's me during the day, that's my breakfast. And then recovery, I've got this five phase recovery shake I can use. Uh, just mix that with water, which we get given. And dinner, dinner is uh, pretty much the same as breakfast. We're working on another sort of type of dinner at the moment, but I'm going to be using this because I like it so much. Um, and the, the most important thing for me is, I've got to carry six days worth of this. And the paleo comes in at 455 grams a day. So all this here is 455 gra grams, whereas what I used to carry is 755 grams. So I'm saving 300 grams a day, times that by six. I'm saving 1.8 kilos over the course of the week whilst I'm running. That's huge, that's absolutely huge. Now, obviously one crucial element that the endurance athletes find is that these, uh, these gels here, um, these come as just predominantly a fast acting carbohydrate. Now, Tom is, a, is predominantly a fat burner, but just in case he, he uh, bonks at, at any point, what we've given him is, is almost like a paleo substitute. Okay, and this is something I've recommended to a few people now. And what's in here is uh, we've got coconut water, we've got molasses, we've got raw honey, and we've got some salt. Okay, so just in case he does bonk, we've got this mix here to be able to overcome it. Or you can have that at any point. Now the benefit of this is that what, as opposed to the gel packs, what we've got is stuff like the molasses, which provides all uh, like hundreds of vitamins and minerals within within here, like high potassium, uh, preventing aches and pains. So not only will it help him get over the bonk and provide him with some fast-acting carbohydrates, it's also providing him with antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and everything to prevent the breakdown of his body. Now, I don't know how you felt in, in previous events, but how have you come back? Have you lost muscle mass after yeah. longer events? Yeah, any, any longer event, I'll, I'll lose a, a bit of size. Uh, the breakdown of muscle is absolutely massive. So I'm looking forward to reporting back, hopefully with the same amount of muscles I want to weigh. So we've got, obviously with paleo, we've got the higher protein element, which we've got here. And like Tom said, we've got our five-factor um, post-wad shake, which is going to have at the end of the day to help him recover. In there, we've got a multitude of ingredients which incorporates protein and carbohydrates in the right amount for Tom. So it's all pre-weighed, all pre-measured. Uh, and you can find that within the PIB system. Um, but what you'll find is, at the bottom of this video, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you the ingredients to this, um, this gel replacement, and also some more recipes like the um, Paleo Energy balls that we've got there. So I hope that was informative for you. If you've, um, uh, you're have you trying to undertake any endurance events, hopefully there's a few solutions. Um, and what we're gonna do is wish Tom all the best for the event. He's going to take some videos while he's away and also we're going to have an interview him with him when he returns. So look forward to those and I'll see you then. Bye.